So, um, this is a new format I'm trying, where I have the, um, dev kit screen in the top right, and I have my computer screen in the middle, and I can open up OBS and resize it to be max if I want. Okay. So, um, there is something I'd like to try. I want to install the first ever dev kit firmware, 1.03. However, there's a problem. If I go and do that, it won't actually get me. Oh, see, I'll go over here, system update, and I'll just select this one. And you can see from the screen. you get an error, right? So, we can actually do that. Now, reason for this is once you update past 1.80 and um, on a dev kit, you can't go back. And this is even documented here in the SDK. So, I was like, back. You know, if a system update is done using system software version 1.80, which then restrictions will be introduced following system update and dev kit slash test kit will not be updatable to system software 1.692 or earlier. And the way the dev kits work is when you update, it just always sets the minimum version list to 1.692, so you can always go down to there but not any higher. Um, which got me thinking, I could just use Modudu. Modudu. Mo however you say that. Mododo, the, the downgrader, right? This thing. Right? Because, although I, although the system itself won't get me, this will, re -up, will set the um, minimum update version, update yes, to whatever firmware you put it in, right? So, then I can just downgrade to it. So, um, let's do that. So, um, first, I need to set my time to something more reasonable, so the SSL doesn't freak out. Um, 2018. It is the um, 11th, I think. Yeah, of uh, the 12th. Okay. So now I can um, just use this and install Hangout. And it still gives me a stupid certificate error, even though I literally just fixed it. Okay, but here we go. Alright, now I already know what's gonna happen, but when I run my dodo, it actually didn't work when I first tried this. Um, what happens is it says, um, it will always tell you to disable your plugins first for using it. And, um, this kind of made me mad, and I know why this happens. This is because on the dev kit, there are more modules running than on the retail, and so Modoro sees it, and it thinks, oh, these are plugins, and doesn't run. Um, so I was like, well, crap, I'm gonna go edit the source code of Modoro in order to just let me do it anyway. Right? So, Modoro, you know, I just went over to the GitHub page for Modoro, and I was, you know, about to download it and edit the whole thing to, you know, just work anyway. Um, but then, when I looked in the code, um, if we can get to the part here. Right. There was, um... Find it. If I can find it in here, there was it was in here somewhere. Um, do, 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 do. Here, right in this part here. This is where it checks the plugins, right? Um. 
Save all your Pokemon first. Then I noticed this. If not exclamation mark bypass. And I was like, huh, there may seem to be some sort of way to bypass it. And then up here, if L if pad the buttons L L trigger or L1 are pressed, bypass equals one. So then I realized, oh, I can just hold L and it will work anyway. So yeah. If you didn't know that, you can run Madoru with Juggins just holding L. And there you go. So I already put the pop in here, so we're gonna push X to confirm and here we go, I'm gonna push X to accept. And we are now copying PSP to up that to the detail. And this is just copying it, and it's still copying, and it's still copying, still copying, copying, and it's copying. Oh, now it's extracting PSP to SWU dot self. And now it is starting the SCE updater. And as you see, it actually works this time. And you get the old settings yolk as well. This is actually really cool. It shows the old way the settings app used to yolk. Um, like way back when the Vita first came out, this is what settings looked like, had this background instead. So that's neat. I was kind of thinking of making a theme to put all the old textures back. You know, you all think of that idea. So it will take a bit, but it will eventually verify the pup and all that, and then it will begin to install. As you can see, it is now installing the update. Now it's gonna reboot. And it's rebooting. You just can't see it yet. Should come up in a bit. There you go. Uh, the database is corrupt, it has to rebuild the whole database, and before you can even click OK, it just kicks it for you.
And here we are. Version 1.0. Free. Um. So, you know, we've got all this. Um, the, I've got the old ass icons. Um, the most interesting thing is the settings app because it looks completely different. Um, see, the icons here are different. Um, so, I'm just going to go through all these options. Um, You can change the ad hoc channel, you can do WPS, um, you know, uh, Bluetooth settings, the Bluetooth settings use the power of the network settings, um, and also any, um, linked controllers you have, uh, in Bluetooth settings. Um, so you can do it. network test seems to be the same. Um, it's kind of status seems to be the same sort of thing it was last time. Um, PlayStation Network sign up. Obviously, PSM won't actually work, but you know, it's still cool to show us. This is the old app as well. It's the um, back when it was purple. Um, and quick sign up as well. Um, quick sign up actually does sort of work, but it um it again just does the same error it always does. Even on three point sixty it makes the error. Um here's a cool feature, the um application data management. You used to be able to delete the add on data for PS Vita games. A feature that is now missing. Um there is a similar feature in debug settings though, on three point sixty, so you know, it is still there, it just they just made it so normal people can't use it. I unfortunately don't have any add-on data to actually show it off, but, you know, it's a thing. Um, sound and display. Um, AVOS, pretty simple. Um, brightness. Um, USB are changed notification. I got settings here. Is there, there was no notification settings originally. So, uh, that's all that is. Um, Security. Parental controls used to be here. If you click on here, you get the parental controls. You can um, enter. You have to enter the passcode every single time in order to change any of these. Um, and of course, to change the passcode. You just do that here. Um, which ironically is probably um, me. Which ironically though, I'm having parental controls here actually means the bug where you could like open parody while the screen was open is um no longer a thing. Um and yeah you can set a screen knock here as well. Um date and time. Uh so we've got the date and time settings. Um you know. Um we can try setting it manually but it probably won't work. Yeah through an error. Um you can set it manually from here that works. Um Time zone, um, these are all time zone selections. I think it's the same time zone selections. Um, so, language, uh, this is all the same, I think. Yeah, that's all the same. Um, system, system information. So, uh, here we go, firmware version 1.0. 3.0.71071 and um, let me just look up real quick because I remember there was a thing you could do on the old firmwares on the main s on the settings screen where you could like get more information or something so um, I actually don't remember what the combination was but there was something there was some combination for it um, PS Vita. I think it was on the dev wiki. It was documented here. Somewhere on the dev wiki. Um. So. Yeah. There was, I think it was like key combos or something. Or 
hidden modes, maybe. Yeah. There was a way to get like more content from your from s and settings. I don't remember what it was. Um, more system information. Okay. So um, simultaneously press L trigger, L L trigger, D pad, yes, and square for a few seconds. Okay. That's not doing anything. Oh, we use those buttons and then we push the start button. Um, okay, let me put this in full screen so you guys can see it better um, when it does work. But um, L, L, Press simultaneously L trigger, L trigger, D pad, yes, and square. We used to then push it out. It's, it's not doing anything. Well, I can't get that to work. Um, maybe I'm missing something. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna sit around this whole video trying to get that to open, get that to um work. So let's just go to the next options. Um, all those start settings. Just refresh your eye value. Um, you know you've got um all the error history. Um, into the actual property notices back then. Um, let's have a Yoku here real quick. It almost looks the same. Um, alright, let's go back out. Format, um, the, this is all the same. Um, power save settings. Um, you couldn't make it as much, and turning it off wasn't even a special feature at this point. Oh, interesting. It is now. You can't turn it off now. You have to, um... You can only turn it off on dev kit now. But, um... Back then, it didn't have to style, so... Yeah, um... So, now here's the things that's interesting. Um, debug settings. Boot parameters. Uh... So this is all the same, but we don't have PSTV emulation mode anymore. PSTV didn't exist back then. Um... We don't have the... We have the, um... Same... This all looks the same, really. Um... Network emulation, this is all the same, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same. Okay. PA station network. Um, this is all the same as well, but we can go in here and see the other accounts if we want. Um, this is all mainly the same thing though. So, whatever. Um, the location data. Yep, this is also the same as it is on 360. System, um, no HDMI settings in system, so if you want to change that, you have to use, uh, Neighborhood, or maybe it's set somewhere else, but from what I understand, you have to use Neighborhood for that, um, this is, this is all, um, there's, there's a lot, yes, information in system, um, call dump, um, yeah, it's the same options. Um, activation, um, it is now always activated because this is before they put a stupid restriction on that made it so if your activation was before 2015, it only works in the first boot. Um, activation key is the I key the same. I don't really want to show you all my open PSID, so I'm going to not do that one. And game, um, this is IRS uh, yes, options here as well. So that's the settings app on 1.0. Um, I'm kind of annoyed I couldn't get the, um, extra system info to work. Um. But, whatever. Um. Let's try, uh, actually it's not new content manager yet, it's annoying. Um, so let's open Powdy, I guess. Um, probably won't be able to go much in Powdy, but, you know. 
Yeah, it just ask me to sign up for PlayStation Network. Even if I did switch to using the have you have all my accounts on, it wouldn't work. Um, so next is Neo. Um, this actually takes a bit to load. But let's open up Neo. And could not start the application. Huh. Worked the last time I used it. So... I'm not quite sure why. Um, Alright, friends then. <laughs> uh, this, this background's new. This is a different background to it normally has. And my name here, I can change my username. Um, just like you can on the, on the current one. Ding. Um, yeah. This is different. The background's slightly different. Um, group messaging. Um, oh, this is slightly different too. In the um, live area. It says MS. Um, that wasn't, that's not on 3.60. Ohio. Um, and this seems to be the same. Um, oh! Oh, oh, look at that, look at that. That's a different icon for that. Yeah. Um, has a line in it when it normally doesn't, I think. That look different. Um... Trophies. Has trophies changed much? Um, doesn't seem to. This actually kind of looks exactly the same. That's actually really impressive that nothing in here has changed. If we go PlayStation Network, we can't go PlayStation Network. Um, it's, yes, it's a sign in. Alright, photos. Um, has the camera quality magic improved? Ooh, that's different. That's actually a different um, image. Has the camera quality magic improved? Let's take a photo of this. Um, yeah, it seems to still be just a shitty camera it's always been. But, um, if we go here, this is actually a different image now. Um, it also tells us how to take a screenshot, but for some reason I can't take a screenshot of the screen. <laughs> um, what? Uh, alright. Um, there isn't a panoramic camera option on this one either. There's only taking a photo and, um, Going to the gallery. And also the um I forgot to mention the uh background here is different just like it's different inside the actual app. Um so if we open this up, um you know, it's different. It's normally um orange, I think, on the new one. But this one here is blue. So that's cool. I actually kinda like that a lot better than the um, new one. Um the browser we'll get to that one later. Let's just go for the basic stuff right now. So music. Um it has a slightly different background, there's a few shrieks at the edge there, um, I think all these options are the same though, um, but I don't actually know, um, videos, um, this looks exactly the same, yeah, this is, this is like, pretty much exactly the same as the new one, wow, nothing's changed, it even doesn't show you the continue screen, watch, just the icon 3.60, this like hasn't changed at all. The continue screen is still not there. Um, so, yeah. Um, remote play, um... I... Don't think I'm going to try hook that up to my PS3. Maybe in another video, but it does look different when you open it. But I'm not turning on my PS3 for this, it's too much work. Um, I might do that in another video if anyone wants to see me try that. See if it works even back then. Um... Okay, so now, um, I guess the debug features, so title star, um, I'm guessing I won't be able to get very foul in these, but the background is different, I'll tell you that much. Um, okay, that didn't get me very foul, how about this one? The background is again, different, um, let's see how far we can go. So, service ID is empty, and we get the actual screen here, so... Um, we've got game in the top right, and if we click on it, um, it just went back. Okay. I can still exit out, though, apparently. Um, okay, package installer. Um, I guess we can try and install a package. Um, let me go connect the computer. The content manager. Um, to, uh, alright, I don't, 
now let's see what package is out. If I got anything in this package folder already, if I can open this, if I can, fucking, let's check here. No, I don't seem to. Um, can I please open them package folder? It's putting it all in local app data. I'll go to myself then. Doesn't want to open it for me. Local app data percent. Oh, now it opens it. Now you open it. God. Um, yeah, I do have a package folder. I am... Yeah. I'm sure you guys saw that come up before I did. And we're yelling at me. Okay, so yeah, we have a package folder. Um, let's try and install this. Expand package. It's... Expand package. It's not even showing any progress here. It's just saying expand package. Um, that's interesting. Is it frozen? No, it's not. It's still working. Oh, now I have a back screen. Okay, let's try that again. Copy some other files in there as well. PSV packages. Um, I'm gonna copy all these into my packages folder. <sighs> um. Okay. So package install is now no longer working at all. So um. Yeah. I'm gonna reboot the console. <laughs> um. Let's go to neighborhood and just tell it to reboot because it is obviously not working. Um, why is there no dev kit here? Why is my dev kit not here? Come on, dev kit. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Badness. Whatever, I'm just gonna unplug it and plug it back in. What could go wrong? Okay, now I'm turning it back on. Okay, let's try that again. So we've connected this to the thing, so now we go host cell. Um, and there we go, we've got a huge list of stuff now. So I'm gonna try install, um, I guess, the Unity dev oh oh yo <laughs> yo it says failed with a d like failed it's like a spelling error failed d um drm free because you can't install any of these um can i install i can install this um in theory so let's set that install it already looks a bit different to the new package installer I'm loading um, failed. Um, tap this. All packages and current force. There's not even a thing we select which one. It usually just is always it's like all of them or none. Doesn't <laughs> um, even ask you for confirmation. It just it just starts installing.
failed you. Uh, yeah, I can't seem to get anywhere with package install. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see if we can run the game. Um, that requires 3.60. That requires 3.50. Um, the other process requires 3.50. The S gallery requires 3.57. Um, something tells me we're not gonna get anywhere with this. Um, I can't run any of this at all, as well. Alright, um, let's look at the browser. Ooh, we've got the browser showing up, but we also can't run that, so, yeah. Um, let's look at the browser. Um, we need the browser change quite a bit. Um, so, it's always trying to overtime Kaku because that won't work, so let's just close out of all that. Um, so this looks different, um, I guess the entire thing looks different, uh, let's go to Vita Tricks, um, Vita Tricks. Yeah, see what still works on Vita Tricks. The loading, okay, it's very slow, this browser was very shitty back then, wow. Wow, okay, I can't even scroll properly. Um, okay, so let's try it here, we can open the PS Store. But it doesn't seem to want to do anything. Um, I can't even, like, whatever, um, start and download, download. Okay, that's working, save. Um, okay. And it should error, like it normally does, right? Oh no, it's actually, it's actually worked. Huh. Um, 3.60, that, um, frozen error. Um, can I use the, let's look at the browser information, um, information sent by the browser. So this is everything that is, um, sent on this version. Um, I can't see, the, can I use the bookmark things? Can I use the bookmark hits? No, they don't work. Um, oh wow, the settings is very, very yakking. Um, and this is what the search button looks like. Oh, so take a look at this um, keyboard here. Um, this is actually a bit different as well. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we can do the yacht bug as well. Potentially. It seems to not really want to do much. Oh, here we go. Let's select the thing. Um, does it still work? Can we kick stop while well, JavaScript on this page? Yeah, it still works. <laughs> um, okay. Um, this is interesting. It's, um, this notification thing. Oh, and more. Ooh, I remember this. This was so cool. Why did they remove this? Sony, if you're watching this, why did you remove this? This was the best thing ever. Um, yeah, if we click on this, it opens up the, um, thing as expected, so. Uh, yeah. Um, I want to connect this thing to Content Manager. That's what I want to do. I want to try to get this to connect to Content Manager. Um, so I'm gonna run... I'm gonna run, um, con I'm gonna go grab the USB cable for this thing. to connect the content manager. So I just plugged into the computer. Um, I'm gonna start QCMA. Um, so now QCMA is running, but uh, I should close this QCMA. Where QCMA is gonna be interfering with it. QCMA. Okay, so QCMA is now rebuilding Davis. I opened it twice, I think. Yeah, I did. Um, please, 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 stop my phone messages in my face. Let's quit some of these QCMAs, you don't need two, you only need one. 
So, um, QCMA. Um, alright, let's try connect to Content Manager. It probably won't work. Um, okay, um, okay, so goes here, connect to PC. It takes me to the screen for a second where it says, like, none and whatever. Can I click on anything in there quickly? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> I can get there like quick key and begin to things, but then not quite. Um, alright, let's try, um, actually in settings maybe. Maybe there is a way to do this, who knows. Oh, go away, I didn't mean to kick rebuild database. Um, okay, so, let's check, um, um, TMA protocol version, manual. Um, 1.000. Let's try that. Ah! Oh! Never mind, I thought I had that, but no. It looked like it was working for a bit, but then now it's not. You must sign up for PlayStation Network to use this application. Ooh! Um, so this is before they changed that. On, um, on DevKit, normally on 3.60, you can use this even if you haven't signed up, but on this one, nope. Alright, luckily I do have an account, um, set in the, um, debug settings, so I can just switch to it. So let's do that. Let's, um, let's switch to this one. There you go. <sighs> now we should be able to connect. With any yuck. Connected to PlayStation, connected to, to you with Minecraft PlayStation Vita, and it's actually showing a connection thing too. Let's see. It's yoded up. Oh my god. Um, backup, not executable. Wow. Even back then on dev kits, you still can't use backup and restore. All right. Um, these have no icon, but PS Vita 2 thing, and it says none at the top, but, um, applications, I guess. Um, PS Vita, um, let's try copy over something. Let's try copy, um, you know, Miyakio Shell. Oh, wow, when I tap, when I tap on copy, you can't see him doing it, but, like, if I tap on copy down here, it actually doesn't show any highlight animation at all. Like, let me make this a bit bigger. If I tap on copy... See, there's no high eye animation at all. But let's just copy this, see if it works. So it's okay, okay, wow. Wow, code station, I'm impressed. QCMA remains compatible with version 1.0. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um Let's do PC to this system. Um Alright, let's see if we can I mean, I know I can't run any of this, but I want to see if it will let me copy it over in the first place. It probably won't, because, um, yeah, it did, that didn't work. Um, maybe the demo. Um, if I'm correct, they did eventually change the, um, format at some point for, um, PSP. So, yeah. Um, that doesn't want to work. Um, applications PSP, though. So we can copy this. There we have created with this one, with this. That works. Right. Um, save data. There isn't any save data. All right. Um, can we copy photos still? Does that even work? Oh yeah, let's see. Oh. The hell? Oh, it was like, okay, so when I open this, it's frozen. I can't press, I can't click on any of this. But I can exit out of it. Okay, so, um, clicking on this free crashes the photos app. What well, photos isn't already open? And then we do it.
nope. It just crashes the um photo app. Brilliant. Let's try um music then. Maybe it will also crash, probably will also crash. Oh, okay, it's doing feet away. It's doing something. Something. Any second now. You must connect to a PS3 system or a PC. I guess not. Video. Video app that hasn't changed this entire time. Will it work? <laughs> um, it also just freezes, just like the photo app. Oh, there we go. Yeah, um... Okay, so we can't really do much with this, even though we can open it. I can't copy anything using it. So, um, yeah, let's check this question mark. Um, alright. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's everything on this firmware then, right? I've shown everything. Um, everything I could find anyway. Um, so yeah, I guess all we have to do now is just update back to 3.60, so... Alright, 